Hi, Michael Brower. I spent years looking for a couple of Motown EQs, and when I finally found them, I was really happy because uh, they sounded different than anything I'd ever had before. I've been using them pretty much on every record in the last 15 years. Always on kick and snare, sometimes on bass, sometimes on vocals. They were just really, really unique. And um, the good news about that is that I had them cloned. And they're now called Motor City EQ. They're identical. As a matter of fact, the output gain actually sounds a bit better than the ones that I had. Um, they're so musical, you can pretty much take any gain on these and just whack them all the way up to the right uh, or attenuate, and it just always sounds musical. And I'll show you. We'll go through a few of these. It's, uh, it's really special. I've never, never pushed any EQ, I think, ever. <laughs> and um, the only reason I'm doing it on this one is just because it's really, really an incredible EQ. So uh, let's go through a couple things. I'll start with a kick. So this is just the 50. You know, and if we want to maybe clear now, clean out a little 320. Maybe put a little rock to it, a little point on it. And maybe a little more, that, that's 2K, 5K. It's just a... This is just now the snare, adding a little 5,000 to it, maybe a little 130, maybe it'll get a knock from 800, a little 2,000. This is with it out, this is with it in. Cool thing on this is if you bring the gain up, it's not just making it louder, it's just making it punchier. You can hear it, it's, it's just the bottom end of that snare just gets a little nastier. This is with it out. In. And this is just bringing the gain back down. Out. In. I mean, it's, uh, it's, I, I've never heard another EQ like this. So I highly recommend you check them out.